How y'all doing? Welcome back to a brand new week. Uh, I'm actually recording this right after I just recorded the last one. Today we are hunting Denali, the barren ground caribou. Let's so me mute and listen to the story. My dad had four brothers, the youngest being Victor, who is my favorite uncle. I think that's because Victor is a big, fun-loving guy who lives to hunt, just like I do. When he was in his 20s, before he got married, Victor decided to get out and see the world, and he figured he might as well hunt while he was doing it. One of his most memorable trips was to the Northwest Territories of Canada in 1970. He'd seen a documentary about the barren ground caribou, and it gave him the fever to go after one himself. So he flew into the capital city of Yellowknife in late summer before the really brutal weather hit, and while the caribou were still migrating, then he caught a float plane to a lake an hour away where he found the hunting lodge right on the water's edge. A dozen other hunters were staying there, and the conversation that night naturally turned to caribou. One man, a guide who was a member of the Denny Aboriginal group, said he had never seen the caribou herd so large and healthy. One buck in particular had caught his eye the previous week, and he had given it a name in his native language. He called the animal Denali. Victor had heard the same name used for Mount McKinley, and he asked what it meant. The man simply smiled and said, The Great One. What a great name for a caribou, Denali, because it means the Great One. Think of that when you own a GMC Denali. Yeah, you're owning a GMC, the Great One. <laughs> I wish I could show you guys what I'm looking at right now. While I'm waiting for this to load, I'm looking down the hallway towards our cat. And he is asleep on top of my crate with all my stuff in it. There is a spinny thing over there. <laughs> um. I'm laying on it all stretched out and asleep. That's the cutest thing ever. Let's go over here and get, uh, get this first challenge. Barren ground caribou. Well, there's one. <laughs> Woohoo! That one's down. So that's one. A doll sheep, don't shoot that. <laughs> don't shoot the doll sheep. That is not part of the challenge. Looking for another caribou. Not a doll sheep. There. Right? Am I wrong? No, I'm wrong. What the heck? Where's the second uh gonna hunt two bear and ground caribou with a rifle? So where's this other caribou at? That's my question. There. 
I don't know how I just made that long of a shot. Oh, well, okay. Who are you? Oh, Dulce. I'm like, please don't be in that one. Like, let's go to the next area. I guess. Sure. Why not? So we got two areas here to choose from. Let's do this way. See, we're already on level 2, or skill 2 for this area, so that's good. Still the freaking pistol. Oh, hold on. Next area, the doll buffs. Doll bluffs. Oh my goodness, buffs. Oh my goodness, bluffs. That's literally right where I came from. They just loaded everything else in. Let's see if I can find a challenge for this side. Where are you? Huh? Oh, you're an adult sheep. Okay. I'm like, what? Challenges, a long challenge. So I want to shoot other stuff besides just walking around here, getting there, taking tracks off. See him. Must be where they camped from the story. Uh, 
Yes, uh, this way. I actually need to cross this point. Oh yeah, I can't sweep. The bird. I was like, why is the challenge like floating and land in the air? I was like, Cabela's, what did you do? They're actually not a challenge in this area. Why did I just go in the wrong area to begin with? Well, I guess we'll find out. Next area. Can it be the bow or something? No, it's always the handgun. I get like a close and personal stuff with this thing. So you're gonna sit or run. Oh, exactly fifty yards. Oh my goodness. I think I could do that again. Does that count? Oh, it does. Okay. to the next area. Mm -hmm. No, there's like no sprinting in this game, is there? We haven't made it that far in the Cabela's history yet. <laughs> Bear with me. 
There's no sprinting yet. Now, I don't know how true it is, but... Uh, which surprising and come to find out I forgot that like Bass Pro bought Cabela's like five years ago now I guess in 2022 so two years ago they were making a uh, Cabela's oh, what was it called what was it called Dangerous Hunts Party like how they used to, how they had the uh, Cabela's Big Game uh, hunting party for the Xbox 360 with the Kinect. Um, they were working on a dangerous hunt hunting party. I don't know how accurate that is or true, but the, from what I found, that was supposed to be the newest game released at the like sometime during 2022. But it never made it to like its final stages. Now, I don't know how true that is, but, um, I wish it was something I'd be able to find out, but I know if I send them a email, they're going to be like, well, we can't really tell or deny that. Hey look, this makes it so much easier. Come here, bird. How many do I have? Oh, let's see. How many more do I need to shoot? Okay, um, now we gotta find the null. We reached level five. It's probably going to show up somewhere over there. Maybe there is only one challenge per area now. You're so freaking cute. Yeah, we're just trying to find them all. Who knows how long that will take? It's probably, he's probably somewhere down here. That's me. Red Fox. Give me Denali. Give me Denali. <laughs> Okay, I guess I'll go on the other side.
I'm like, not too sure where else you want me to look, but okay. Watch, he'll be over here somewhere. Denali shows up here. Oh, doll sheep, please don't run me over. Hey, doll sheep, stop running. Over 120. Well, I need to the quiver. Unless Denault decided to show up now. Yeah, how about you run off that away? Keep running. There we go. <laughs> that was easy. Okay, I have the now. Please, <laughs> please give me the gnolly. And time now. I will take the gnolly game whenever you'd like to give them to me. Show up, please do.
And every would like to show up tonight. It'd be nice. It's a cool lighthouse, though. Come on. I need an eye. Give me the caribou. Just give me the caribou. That's all I ask for. Hey, what are you doing the way over there? That's that big. He's probably over there. They'll show up almost instantly because I came over here now. Oh, the sheep. <laughs> so I'm expecting that. Uh... Maybe. Maybe he'll decide to show up. Like, I don't know where else to find them at. See you guys back once I find him. To read magazine articles about I don't know. Caribou, the he was back in the area before. Like the legend of now. Why are you over here, bud? You him? No. Where is he? Where's he at? <laughs> Where he lost him? What the heck? Where is he? Oh wait. Let's just walk down this way, I guess. I don't know where he's at. That's the bad part. Like, why is he over here? It's my thing. There's Denali. Oh my goodness. He's big. Like, holy smokes. Oh! 
Boom! There's the noise. The antlers were huge, 40 inches across, with main beams of 48 and 49 inches. The body itself was enormous, just under 600 pounds. Later, the Denny guide confirmed that it was the same buck he'd been calling Denali. And he was right. This character yeah, that's was like a, a great amazing, one. Amazing trophy. Oh, my goodness, that thing took forever. It took forever to find Denali. Okay, guys, so that's going to be it for this video. I want to say thank you all so much for watching. And as always, please remember, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and I will see you all next time. See you later.